Hello and welcome to another feature update in Thrive Architect. In this video, I'm going to show you a few templates that were added to the table element in Thrive Architect. Right. So first of all, I'm going to show you how cool they are. Right. And then second of all, I'm going to show you a few tricks of what exactly can you build with a table element in Thrive Architect. Okay. So first of all, let's take a look at these templates. Now you've seen how cool they are let me show you what exactly can you build with a table element so one cool thing that you can build is for example a comparison either between the packages of products that you offer or between your product and the products of your competitors okay now you can do this in a sort of way with the pricing table right you can display the different packages that you offer and highlight what feature one has and you know if the other one doesn't have that feature or does have that feature as well you can do that with a pricing table but with a table you can do that in sort of a different way right so let me show you how you can build such a comparison between you and your competitors now I'm not going to go super in depth right i'm just going to show you how you can do this. So we'll first of all drag the table element on our page here. So simply drag it and drop it. And this is the template library that was just added. You know, these are all the templates that you have just seen in this video. For this example, I'm going to choose this template. Now, if you want to build your table from scratch, you can always choose the blank table. However, one quick disclaimer, if you choose one of these templates and you start building some stuff on it, if you then in the middle of the process decide you want to change the template, all your content will be lost. OK, so do not start building content or save it somewhere unless you are sure you want to use a certain template. Right. So if you want to browse around, you know, see which template fits best for you, do that and then start building uh, the actual table. All right. Cool. So choose this one. Apply it. There we go. And I'm going to show you the end result of what we want to get to. OK, so this what you're seeing now is what we want to get to with this page, as you can see. Uh, beautiful comparison table, simple, you know, it gets the message across. So that's what we want to do here. All right. So let's just jump right in, see what we have to do. So first of all, we're going to uh, decrease the width of this table because it's too wide. So layout and position, decrease it as simple as that and then center align it okay now what you could have seen in that image is that this particular cell was non-existent okay so to remove this part here this corner what we have to do is click on it click on the table go to the main options go to manage cells and then simply make it invisible okay so we'll click on it go to background style click on the color and either uh, decrease the opacity to zero or simply click on this X here on the color. Okay. This will make it white like that. Uh, close this and then we'll also remove the text inside it. Okay. All right. Now, if we take a quick look on preview, see how this looks, as you can see here in editing mode, you can see these borders, but if we go on preview, you can see this is gone, right? It's no longer there. OK, so that's what we want. And now let's move on and we, we want to remove this column as well. OK, so go to manage cells, click on the first row, right? It doesn't matter. You need to be in this in this column, remove the column and there we 
go. And how this comparison is going to work here, we're going to uh, paste some features. And here we are going to uh, write the name of the companies that offer this product. Okay. Now here at the top, you can either uh, write the text, the name of, of the company, or if you have a logo, a beautiful transparent, uh, a, a beautiful logo with a transparent background, then you can apply those logos in there as images, right? But for now, you know, I'm just going to use text because all of these companies don't exist anyway. So, <laughs> but you know, this is some useful, uh, useful uh, example that you can use as well uh, for your own website in order to compare your product uh, to the product of your competitors. Okay, so we can simply write, you know, our company and then competitor one and competitor number two. Okay, now the first feature is going to be the price, obviously, very important. Okay, so increase the size a bit. Yeah, maybe something like that. And uh, we're just going to remove these since we increase the price a bit. We're just going to duplicate this. Okay, and then move these uh, new pieces of content inside the other cells of the same column. And, you know, since I don't have a certain company in mind, I'm just going to write, you know, feature one, feature two, and feature three. But uh, since, you know, you're doing this for your own company, you should know the specific features that your users are looking for, or, you know, whoever sees this table is looking for and you know you could write some specific features that uh, people look for in your niche okay now let's do some more editing here we're center we're going to center align uh, the the uh, company names we're going to center align the prices as well okay and we're simply going to increase the size of this as well maybe even bold it uh, bold this one as well since it's the price right very important and you know we can simply duplicate this again and hold on a second what have I done I'm going to remove these uh, these uh, pieces of content there and then drag the text and place it in the other cells okay so let's say that this is 35 this is 40 okay as simple as that and now what we want to do is we want to add some icons and place them in these other cells. And we're going to add two icons more specifically, or better said, two types of icons. Okay, we're going to, we're going to apply the uh, green check icon, you know, whether a company has that certain feature or, you know, some other icon uh, that, you know, lets the visitor know that that certain company doesn't have uh, that particular feature. Okay, so let's remove all of these content. Very nice, we don't need the text. And then we can simply go on the editor and drag the icon element and place it inside this cell. And first of all, we're going to look for the check uh, thing. And you know, you can either, I don't know which one to choose. Let's, let's choose this one. But this one goes as well, you know, we choose this one, decrease the size of it, and, you know, something like that. And now we can even make it green, let's say, something like this, and we can save this color as a global color. All right, so now we're simply gonna duplicate this icon a couple of times and then drag it inside these other cells, you know, or maybe not, not in those ones. Our company has everything. Now let's look for an icon that lets the visitor know that the company doesn't have that feature. Okay. So drag the icon again, or I could have just duplicated one and then just changed the icon, but you know, next time I'll do that. So, uh, I found an icon, this one, uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's called ban 
something, okay? I'll choose the same type, right? So the regular one, I'll apply the same size on it and I'll apply the uh, red color. I already have a global one, okay? So, you know, I'll simply duplicate it three times and place it there, place it here and then place it there, okay? Now, it looks good, but as you could have seen in the preview, this uh, table doesn't have any borders. So we would need some uh, borders on the inside, okay? So to do this, simply click on the table, go to table borders and apply in a border, okay? Let's say that we wanna apply to the cell, but not like that, that reminds me of 2003 Excel, we don't want that. Instead, we'll decrease the opacity a bit, okay? Make it, let's say, something like that, okay? And we can save the work, and we can also uh, decrease the padding a bit on the entire table, okay? And now, of course, this is just to give you an idea of how you can do this. But of course, if you want to do a thorough comparison, you can do a longer table, right, where users can see all of the features that you have and that, you know, your competitors don't have. And in that way, you know, you can gain an advantage and you can show uh, these visitors how good you are. Okay, now other options, of course, you can also, you know, if you click on the table, go to manage cells, you can, uh, for example, decrease the width of a certain column, right? I'm not going to go into a lot of technical details. Yeah, if uh, you're interested, I'm going to put a link to a tutorial about the table element. Uh, where you can find all of the details and how all of the options work, okay? Now, let's see how this looks on preview, okay? So, as you can see, doesn't look that bad, right? And remember, this was just an example. I did this, you know, really quickly in about a couple of minutes, right? So, you can do this as well for your specific company as well. Now, last but not least, let's also see how this looks on mobile, right? Because it's very important. So in Thrive Architect, we'll simply select the mobile indicator. Now, we have this option, for example, if I click on the entire table, we have this option here called Create Mobile Responsive Table, okay? So if I deselect this, it will show up like this and it will take up too much space and it, it won't look good, right? So a rule here uh, when it comes to mobile is that the things that are really wide on desktop, on the mobile, they're gonna take space vertically, right? So that width is gonna be transformed into, into height, okay? So that's what happens here. And it's really clever, especially because we have all of these features right? Uh, and that's what the user will be looking for, okay? So for example, if for him price is very important, he's going to be able to see, okay, we have the price and he's going to be able to sort the companies in terms of price, okay? As simple as that. And then for the other features as well, let's see what companies have the uh, this feature, right? These two companies have it, this one doesn't have it. Hmm, I don't like that company, right? So it's, it's a really clever way uh, in which our developers made the table look good on mobile as well. Now, this concludes this video. I really hope you enjoy how the table looks now with all of these templates. Leave me a comment below if you have any questions regarding this and I'll get back to you on that. Now, other than that, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you guys in the next video.